So, 81 million Turkish citizens have voted in the country's presidential and parliamentary elections. Now, state media say with 53% of 99% of the votes counted, Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his AK party have won an outright and decisive victory. With me now is Ece Temel Kuran. She's known as Turkey's most read political columnist, known for her articles critical of the government. Now, what's your take on the events of Sunday in the election then? I think they are sending a message that they are uh, going to defend the democracy and they are eager uh, to stay a Western-oriented country. And they are... Uh, you know, they are dedicated uh, to a pluralistic uh, society and that should be taken seriously by European Union, I guess. Um, as you might also remember, Mr. Erdogan has been supported by Western uh, countries, uh, especially during his first term in power uh, starting from 2002. And I guess many people in Turkey would agree with me uh, in the idea that now the opposition should be, at least uh, morally, uh, should be supported by European Union uh, and uh, the democratic powers in European countries. What we have been complaining about and what we have been frustrated by was the unpredictability uh, of everything, uh, not only international politics in terms of international politics, but also in domestic politics. Uh, it is not a surprise, of course, when you when the destiny of a country is um, is uh, is in the hands of a uh, one man. I mean, and this man, Mr. Erdogan, Mr. President Erdogan, uh, is not known to be for his uh, thick skin. So he's a uh, you know tempered man, and he's in, he's acting um, on his own terms. Therefore, it's quite unpredictable. Uh, but it is interesting to remember that actually the promise, the election promise of Erdogan was more justice, more freedom. It really created an um, incredible amount of enthusiasm for all those people who were against the one-man regime. Uh, it was uh, totally unprecedented for all the uh, you know, factions in the political spectrum to come together against uh, Mr. Erdogan, Mr. President. Uh, not only, you know, not personally against him, but uh, to the regime that he has built uh, during the last 15 years, 16 years. Uh, so that was the thing, I, get, I guess, you know, made people in Turkey, uh, critical people in Turkey, really believe in this election. Uh, however, uh, there is a, you know, uh, air of hopelessness and disappointment. Uh, it is so solid that you can touch with your hands. Um, I guess uh, it will take time for people to recover from that uh, disappointment, uh, that frustration, to get back to their, you know, opposition and, you know, political actions and, you know, work.